What up everybody, welcome to the comics teacher. I have a treat for you today, guess what this is? This is a Miss Marvel number one hip hop variant signed by G Willow Wilson. It is framed, it stays on my wall, and I'm excited because today, for the middle school classrooms, I'm going to be reviewing five Marvel titles. Let's go. You heard it right today. I'm going to be doing five Marvel comics for your middle school classroom to have on yourself to teach with. These are all fantastic. The first one I'm going to be bringing to you today is Ultimate Comics Spider-Man Miles Morales. Miles Morales hit the scene and there was really no looking back. People realized how amazing this character would be. Although some people had a problem, like is my new Spider-Man an 8th grader who is half black and half Puerto Rican? Yes, he is. And he's absolutely amazing. Uh, Miles slowly picked up steam, and then the Spider-Verse movie came out, and it was all over. Everybody realized just how dang cool this character is. And this book is no different. So this first trade here deals with Miles' origin story, growing up, friends, family, family drama, how he got bit by a spider just like Peter Parker did all the way ultimately up until how he got his first Spider-Man his first real Spider-Man suit and who gave it to him which I will not be telling you but I guarantee you this book will be sensational in your classroom teach with it uh, I've written lesson plans around this book I had a class set of it at, at, at the old school I taught at this is one for the ages ages ultimate comics Spider-Man Miles Morales you need multiple copies of this book before i get to the second one i just want to say remember that uh that spider-man book was written by brian michael bendis and art by sarah Pacelli. all right number two of the marvel titles you need to have in your middle school classroom is moon girl and devil dinosaur moon girl and devil dinosaur is about uh this really amazing young character named lunella lafayette and luna is one of the smartest, even though she's about nine, 10 years old, is one of the smartest characters in the Marvel Universe. And she creates all these gadgets and she has a massive lab underneath her school and she is planning. So the thing is, right, there's this thing about these Inhumans. And if you don't know all the story about the Inhumans, there's this cloud. And if you have this Inhuman gene and you breathe in this cloud air, you change and you become something else. Well, she's afraid, like she has the gene and she doesn't want to change so she's trying to find a way to alter herself so that if she ever does encounter this cloud, she doesn't change because she loves who she is and she's afraid of becoming an inhuman. Okay, little backstory there. So this story deals with her trying to find a way to deal with this fear of her possibly becoming um, an inhuman. Well, this item that she has that, she, that is going to help her, that this alien item she has, uh, actually creates a vortex into an alternate dimension which long story short brings over see this big dinosaur guy in the cover here brings over this giant red devil dinosaur into current times new york city by the way new york's going to be a, a common theme today we got miles morales set in new york now we got uh, moon girl devil dinosaur set in new york lots of new york happening in the marvel universe when these books kind of came out these are all like about probably like five six years old at this point now so Devil Dinosaur is also trying to protect this thing that Luna is trying to use. Long story short, again, they become friends and become a team. So now you have this girl, this really fun, funny, in-your-face, gonna-make-it-all-happen girl, and this giant red devil dinosaur taking on whatever comes their way in the first trade. That includes the Incredible Hulk. So, a little spoiler there. Super fun. Art is very colorful. I have, I have, you know, I'm mean, like, look at this. Boom, look at that dinosaur. Look at that big red dinosaur. Big red dinosaur is dope. Look at these pages. Look at that page layouts and those blues and those reds. This is a fun one. Is it totally appropriate for your middle grade classroom? 100% it is. 100% it is. And 100% that Miles Morales one is too. So, uh, this one, ladies and gentlemen, is written by Brandon Montclair and Amy Reader. And the art in this book is done by Natasha Bustos. And book number three takes us right next door to the next state, to Jersey City, 12 miles from Manhattan. We have Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel, New No Normal. No Normal is the name of the first trade. 
I loved this Miss Marvel book from the word go, just like the Miles Morales book, Moon Girl, Devil Dinosaur. Miss Marvel is a Pakistani Muslim American teenage girl who is dealing with all of the things that encompasses being a teenage girl with that background in America. And even in the beginning of the book, she's getting bullied a little bit for her background and who she is. And, and it's, pretty hard to watch a little bit i mean it's not it's she's not getting overly bullied but you know anytime as teachers anytime we see a student who is getting picked on for who they are it bothers us right so she is super wanting to be normal but she has a family that is a little bit overprotective uh very loving very overprotective and she wants to branch out and be something a little bit more a little bit more adventurous a little bit more herself Speaking of that inhuman cloud that I mentioned in Moon Girl Devil Dinosaur, Kamala Khan does get engulfed in this cloud and she changes into this superhero. And she is able to do a couple things, but the main thing she's able to do is embiggen or get small. So she can make parts of her body or her whole body really big, or she can make parts of her body or her whole body really small. And the bigger she gets, the stronger she gets because it's relative to her size. So she can do some really cool things with those, uh, with, with, with those powers. Now, she also, this is a great book for kids because she is dealing now with this new found power and what to do with it. And the way this first trade lays out, she is developing relationships with her friends, constantly breaking the rules in her house, which just have her parents just at wit's end. You can imagine, right? She's, she's a great kid. But she's constantly breaking curfew and she's going out to like do these heroic items and she's coming home and sometimes she's like dirty and, and because she's been fighting and her parents just have no idea what's going on with their teenage daughter. So there are some just honest moments of of family, you know, interaction in here, which I really dig. I think the writing in this book is fantastic, right? G. Willow Wilson took the lead on this. Art is done by Adrian Alfana and it's, it's really awesome. I showed you that G. Willow Wilson autographed um, hip-hop variant that I had. This is also um, behind me here. You can't see it because the title of the book is probably covering it right now. But this is a uh, Miss Marvel, Marvel Legend figure I have signed by G. Willow Wilson. I got to meet her at Moraine Valley Community College. Shout out to Moraine Valley Community College and Troy. Troy for, for setting that up for us. It was an uh, amazing event. They had G. Willow Wilson out to talk, do a talk about creating her characters in the book. And then there was like a meet and greet after I brought students. I took students from my school to go meet her and get comics signed. It was a great night and I'll never forget it. So I got my hip hop variant signed and my, and my, my action figure signed here because this book is legendary. It's, it's, it's just so good. And I could show you my copy. It's got like coffee stains and it's beat up all over the place because this book was read so many times on my shelf, completely classroom appropriate. It, it gets it even gets into some serious some serious issues especially the things we're dealing with in the, in the country today so great conversation starters topic starters for that book highly recommend miss Marvel no normal on your classroom and library shelf book number four has a really big team working on this I think there's like five or six artists pencilers writers inkers all of the above working on this book so I'm gonna give you can check all that out when you put this on your shelf but I will tell you that the uh author here of this next book I'm going to do is Mark Wade and the pencils were done by Humberto Ramos and that book is Champions. I'm bringing it all together here with this one folks because this is a team of young superheroes that is basically tired of the Avengers BS. A couple of them have been in the Avengers. They just don't agree with how the Avengers are doing things. They think they can do things better for the planet, better for the world, so they form their own team. And this team consists of we got Miles Morales Spider-Man. We got the Young Hulk. We got Nova. We got Cyclops. We got Viv, who is Vision's daughter, and then Miss Marvel. And you can see them all on the cover here. They form this team, not really, I mean, some of them know each other a little bit, but they really trying to figure out who they are and how they are going to do good for the world. They're all relatively young, so we have a lot of interactions that are 
people trying to take power and determine who has the most clout. And there's a lot of, you know, brag, braggadocial talk happening. Not even a word. I'm sorry about that. And figuring out just who they are as a group. They go through some pretty cool adventures in this first trade. I'm going to be honest. I haven't read the second trade yet of this one, this champions book, but I really need to. There's just so much to read. This is a great team up. And if, the Miss Marvel is hitting it in your classroom. The Miles Morales is hitting it in your classroom. And that Nova character has his own book too, which I have but haven't read yet. Then you are going to want to get this Champions book into your classroom along with those other ones. This is a nice kind of like, if you like these two, you'll love this one because the characters, the readers, I'm sorry, will have some background on these characters and will fall in love with them again in Champions. Book number five comes to us from the team of Jim Zub and Felipe Andrade, and it is not a superhero book, ladies and gentlemen. If you are like me right now, you are missing traveling. You are missing getting out there. You might be even missing Disneyland. So for this fifth Marvel title, I'm going to be bringing you a Disney book, and I present to you Figment. Figment is the purple dragon that I believe was made famous at Epcot Center a while back, and this book is his origin story. And the man that kind of manifested him into existence, his name is Blarion. And ultimately, this book is about their experiences in this land that Blarion imagines and kind of makes up in this very strange realm as he's exploring his powers and figuring out how to get back home. I will say out of the five books, this one is the most complex. There is a lot going on and there's a lot of plot points and story details this one may not, some of your readers might be like, what, this is a lot going on here. It's definitely appropriate for your middle school classroom, but I will tell you, this is the one that those deeper readers might might appreciate a little bit more. I mean, all of these are for sure, but yeah, this one this one's a little bit more of a thinker. I know I have the book up there, so you can't really see it, but even the art and some of the panel constructions gets a little bit avant-garde in this book, and a lot of it is you know, pretty out there and, and unique in its construction and even its art. So, and, and its themes too. Its themes are pretty unique and interesting. So of course you want to read everything you give to your students so you know what's best for some and, and what's not best for others. While completely appropriate, this one is the biggest thinker of the five of the day. So ladies and gentlemen, as I drop my pen, I just want to say thank you again for, for watching this video. Uh, like and subscribe, tell your friends. I have a lot more weeks of these middle school reviews to do. I'm doing 10 weeks. This was week three. I have a really cool one coming up for you next week. I drop these on Wednesdays. I hope you follow and subscribe, and I hope you're enjoying these. Comment below which one you're most excited to read. I'm really interested in your comments. I started rambling there a minute, so I cut myself off just to say, have a great night. <laughs>